In 2007, Microsoft released Windows Vista, the long-awaited successor to Windows XP. Expectations were sky-high after years of delays, code rewrites, and promises of revolutionary features. However, when Vista finally launched, it quickly became one of the most criticized operating systems in history. The problems were many. Performance issues. Vista required much higher hardware specifications than most users had at the time, making it sluggish on existing PCs. Compatibility headaches. Many printers, cameras, and older software simply wouldn't work due to missing or incomplete drivers. User Account Control UAC. Designed for better security, it became infamous for constant permission pop-ups, annoying even tech-savvy users. Bloated design. Vista's AeroGlass interface looked modern, but consumed large amounts of memory and processing power. The backlash was so severe that many businesses refused to upgrade, sticking with Windows XP for years. Microsoft had to fast-track Windows 7 in 2009, which fixed many of Vista's issues and regained user trust. In hindsight, Vista's failure wasn't just about bugs, it was a lesson in over-promising and under-delivering, as well as the risks of pushing design and security changes without considering real-world usability. Why this case study matters? For students, it's a reminder that technical advancements must balance with user needs and hardware realities. For teachers, a practical example of software project management failures and the importance of beta testing with real users. For professionals, a case in how brand trust can be damaged by prioritizing flashy features over stability and compatibility. Relevant computer science fields, software engineering, human-computer interaction, HCI, operating systems project management in software development, usability engineering, 